welcome you guys let me just get some people in here before we start Ashe. Y'all make sure y'all like this video. All right, we ready? Y'all ready? What's up, y'all? All right, so we ready. Let's get it. Make sure y'all like this video. Okay. So I've been told to set this up before I start. Y'all know what this is all about. If you don't know, get a look, okay? Before I hop back in this camera. All right, y'all see? So, the first thing I'm being told to say, okay, so I have to say the title message, of course. So, someone has been cloned, all right? We're gonna stop there. Um, the second thing I have to say is I'm not being ignorant, but I can't ignore it. All right. The third thing I have to go ahead and say is this is for educational purpose only. Literally, this is for educational pur purposes only. All right. I'm only here to let you know. All right. <laughs> I ain't hurting nobody. So let's go ahead and get into it. Y'all know we got the notes. Y'all know we getting it in. I'm going to stay out of the comments as much as I can so I can get it in. Ashe. All right. So hopefully sound is good. If you're entering this chat, please like the video. Gratitude. All right. So someone has been cloned. Where do we start? Um, I did watch the movie they clone Tyrone. If you have not seen it yet, I do advise for you to go watch it, especially if you are aboriginal melanated okay brown <laughs> um yes please so let's go ahead and get into it the first thing i have here is a uh, lost of memory okay so i was shuffling my cards and i was like okay let me land here i have the death card there's nothing worse than seeing a black man on a horse why because a white man has to look up to him. Y'all see the Pope. Whoever you see. There's nothing worse than seeing a black man on a horse. Because you have to look up to him now. So let's get into it. Alright. So I'm going to need for you to close your mouth. And open your mind. Alright. First thing I have here, let's talk about it. The placebo effect. I don't know how I'm going to go about it. I'm just going to kind of flow. All right. The placebo effect. If you haven't heard about it, go look into everything I bring to you. This is for educational purposes. All right. This is based on conditioning. Okay. The placebo effect is based on conditioning, expectation, learning, motivation, research, experimenting, and science, all right? What does cloning sound like? What is the process of being cloned? Okay, it's an experimental what? All right, so let's get into it. The first thing I have here is <clears throat> we are everywhere. We are everywhere, okay? So when you think about we, when you hear we, and you think about being heard or being listened to or being spied on or being followed, okay? being experimented on who is we okay so this is all based upon conspiracy 
If you don't know what conspiracy means, I advise for you to go look that up too. Conspiracy is a group of beings, a dark group of beings who are typically known for doing unlawful things, immoral things on people, okay? That's a conspiracy. So we are everywhere. Shall we continue? I can see you, but you are nowhere to be found. So this is when I'm talking to you now. I can see you, but you are nowhere to be found. Let's pull a card. All right. All right. Let's see what we got. We got the seven of pentacles. Okay. This could be the scientist. This could be the what? This could be you. This could be human nature. This could be mankind. Okay. Seven of Pentacles talks about something being done. Something being worked upon. This could be someone being worked upon. I see screws. Okay. I'm also hearing men in white suits. Men in white suits. I'm also hearing men in black. Okay. So let's continue. So the first thing I'm seeing here is the homeless. Okay, so when you see the homeless, you instantly, when you hear the homeless, you instantly think about misfortunate, poverty, someone who's outside, no house, no food, begging for money, struggling. Okay, but it's funny how the homeless are the ones carrying what? The signs. Okay, so it says here, it's in the water. This is actually something that the homeless guy in the movie they cloned Tyrone said. It's in the water. So that means if it's in the water, it has to be in the food. Okay? Because one needs one. One can't work without the other. So if it's in the water, it's in the food. Um, pay attention to the signs. All right? I'm also getting they won't tell you once. They won't tell you twice. You have to be the one to find. You have to be the one to seek, okay? They won't tell you once. They won't tell you twice. You have to be the find. You have to be the one to find out, okay? So whatever this is that you are seeking for, searching for, it won't be just handed to you, okay? These are things you will have to go out and search for. Um, a lot of the times it's standing right in front of you, okay? <clears throat> so let's get into it. Adrenal chrome. A lot of you guys may already know about adrenal chrome. It's a stress hormone, okay? Epinephrine, or also known as adrenaline, okay? Adrenal chrome, it's a stress hormone, okay? And it typically stimulates your fight or flight survival mode, all right? So what I have here, it promotes anxiousness, nervousness, okay? Or pure excitement, all right? So. I took dopamine. I was like, okay, that's another chemical, okay, induced from the adrenal glands. Dopamine, okay, what is dopamine? Dopamine is known for, it plays a role in controlling your movement. It controls your memory, okay? It controls your mood. It controls your learning, your adaptability, okay? Also your sleep, body function, etc. All right, so why are these things so important? If your adrenal glands are constantly being worked, overworked, pay attention to your, I'm speaking to my aboriginals, pay attention to your peers. We are always in a constant state of what? Stress, being burnt out, being pressured. What, what do we call it? Hustling, okay? What do we call it? Grinding, all right? We use these cool terms for hard natures it's a hard not life okay we like to adapt to these mentalities even though it hurts okay so things aren't what they seem especially coming from the black man we hold up smiles pretty easy okay we are pretty sensitive <laughs> we can be all right we also can be very agreeable okay we are very peaceful people so when you see us, we always are in this on the go mode, okay, working hard. How you doing? Just got off, I'm tired. You don't ever really hear, I'm free today. 
I'm, I'm at peace today. I'm happy today. When the last time you asked somebody, how are you doing? And they said, I'm happy. I'm great. Not I'm okay. Not I'm good. You feel me? We've become so adapted. It is a habit to say these things. Okay? It is habitual. And we don't even know. This is a survival state. Fight or flight. Get it where you fit it. Okay? We are also very adaptable beings if I didn't say that. Okay? So it don't matter if you come blow our house up, we gonna find a way to live. It don't matter if the power go out, we gonna find a way to eat. Okay? It don't matter if everyone on our team leave us, we still gonna win. You notice? All right, so let's keep going. This is all based upon experimentation. All right? <clears throat> so I have here, um, let me see. Let me make sure I'm not skipping nothing. Okay, so I have here, I know what you like. You got what I want. I know what you like. You got what I want. So like I said, we tend to be the original, or let's just say we tend to be as black people, brown people, aboriginals, we are the originals, okay? We are the primordials, all right? So if you are being, let's just say, you're in this time and space where it's like, give me what you got and I'll give you what I have. It's a trade. And now we've come to the point where it has become, we've been stripped from all that we have. So if I'm always going to the market to buy food, but this time I don't have the money, that means now I need you more than you need me. Okay, so this is the, the time we are in. Okay, where we are now codependent on a external race group of beings, a culture, religion, whatever. Okay, because we have been so stripped from our nature. We have been taken completely away from our resources okay since birth okay so i know what you like you got what i want at this point i don't have nothing to give you so what else can i trade you this is where it gets interesting so let me go ahead and pull a card before we get into it this is where it gets interesting It ain't nothing worse than seeing a black man on a horse because I now have to look up to you. Let me see here. So now we got the divine. Now we got the divine. Everything you got. Once that man turns his back, there's nothing else to give. Once you, It's like you got the clothes off my back. Now what do you want? Now we're talking about the soul. Now we're talking about the energy. Now we're talking about your reflection, your carbon, okay? Your cells, your teeth, your hair, your essence, okay? You can't give me nothing, but you got something. <laughs> Shall we continue? So now we go into black on black crime. All right. Black on black crime equals white power. Why? <laughs> why are we beating each other up? Or why is it so such a necess necessity for us to hate one another? You notice the black man shows out in front of the white man. Why? Because they know what I like and I got what they want or what they need rather. So now it's black on black. Now it's me against you. <laughs> we don't play fair around here okay so that this is where we come i they had me write down gray man now we have the gray man who's the gray man we always talk about the white man the black man but we never talked about the man in the middle okay the one who's doing all the dividing and destruction and creating havoc right in your face but you're fighting the one around him because you were told in order for you to get through, you gotta go over. So now we, we're fighting against ourselves. Now we're fighting against our neighbors, our fathers, our brothers, our sisters. We're killing each other to get to the man on the other side. The gray man, 
the one hidden in the seams, okay? The one who's using your energy, okay? The one who's fighting you against you. He's literally using your body, your energy, your face to fight, to work, to live, to sustain, things of that nature. That's the gray man. We don't never look at the gray man because all we see is white and black. That's what we've been taught. Okay? So things like the news. Pay attention to the news. Why is it always white and black crime or black on black crime? There's never like the source. What what happened for this to even start? We always, they just show you the fight, but they never tell you, you know, the cause or the resolution. So we're just spinning. <laughs> we're just spinning like this circle of life, but it's unjust. So we're going backwards. We never get to the man in the middle, the gray man, who's the one in control. All right. So let me see here. Trading your soul for monetary gain. Now that I got you where you are, what do you what do you what do you want to do? What do you want to be? Okay, this is where we start getting asked all these uh, legendary questions that can be very detrimental to your existence. Okay, to your soul. Okay, <laughs> trading your soul for monetary gain. So we have a black guy showing out for the white man. This is where we talk about the room before or excuse me, the, yeah, the room before the door. So Kevin Hart, the black man, or maybe once was, he literally was talking about this. It's like we are all caught up or we're all in a race to get to this door when we are never exposed to the, it's like a room before the door. We all see the door, we all trying to get through the door, but we're all in this room. So it's like you, you sign up to wait. You sign up to be put in some type of capsule to be controlled and to be told what to do and how to go about your life, okay? We're all in a race to get nowhere. So now we're all crabs in one bucket, competing and fighting against one another yet again. You think because you're at the top, you know, everybody want to collab and it's all peace and mighty you think because you're rich you you're safe when in reality you really just only got through one door you only got through the pre nature of things so now you get to see what's really about to go down now you get to see the mass something about the mass the majority of people you get to see everyone being let down or controlled or stumped on or abused, right? Killed, destroyed while you in this waiting room thinking that you're going to get through this door is really just what a setup. So you're setting yourself up for failure. Don't trade yourself for monetary gain. The gray man, that's the gray man. That's the one who's feeding off of everyone. So interested so interested, so anticipated to go up, to come, to, to get out. But you're really getting out of what? <laughs> just like the movie, Get Out. What are you getting out of? Every day you wake up, just like the movie, They Clone Tyrone. Every day he wake up, it was, a, it was almost like a, like a system. Every day you wake up, you see the same thing. You think the same way. You feel the same way. When you wake up, when you woke up in your spiritual journey, where did you wake up to? The illusion is to literally rec recognize that you are still asleep. <laughs> so it's the room before the room that you never make it to. All right. So I wanted to bring this up. School cafeterias. Now, in this movie, they were saying how it was in the food. You notice when everyone gets like together in like certain restaurants, it's this chatter. It's like this mumble. And it's like everyone is, you can hear it, you can feel it, but you don't really, you can't make sense of it. Think about a school cafeteria. Do you know that sound you hear when you walk? It's so loud. It's so much chatter, so many different voices, but it's nothing to be heard. It's nothing to be felt. It's kind of like you're just there, you know, in this trance and everything is going on around you. It's in the food, okay? It's in the water. 
Just like when you're eating at a restaurant, you hear that same mumble, that, that, that chatter. You can't make sense out of it, but it's there, it's loud, okay? So it's something that we're ingesting, that we're not necessarily understanding or we're not necessarily seeing. Or is it everything that we're ingesting? It can't be understood. It's just something we take with no question, with no explanation given. It's just there all around us happening. <laughs> Things are just simultaneously playing out for what? It's an experiment. It's an experiment, okay? So I have here, let me see. Understanding color psychology. Understanding color psychology. Okay, you if you don't know anything about color psychology, you should go look into it. What is it? When you look around, certain colors make you think. When you look around, certain colors make you feel. Okay, it, it alters you. Okay, in some way, it alters you. For example, you see the color yellow, you feel happy. You feel bright. When you see the color blue, baby blue, you feel clean, you feel safe. When you see the color green, you think health. Certain things are in correspondence to your psyche via color. So these beings, the gray man, we're going to call it the gray man, they understand the power of color psychology. Okay, so think about hair dye. Why is it considered dyeing your hair? Or food dye. Why is it called food dye? Or why is it dye in my food? Okay, so in this movie Tyrone, or they clone Tyrone, the homeless guy, he had a he had a message. He kept saying, straighter is greater, straighter is greater. Okay, so when he said that, he was referring to the relaxers, the perms we get as melanated women, even men, we get relaxers. Think about why is it called relaxers, okay? So it was kind of funny because in the movie, they were showing you everything, clear as day. And as the women in the salons, you know, they gossip, that same chatter. In the barbershops, that same chatter. You can't make, you can't identify what they're saying. You just hear it, you feel it, you're in it, okay? It's natural, okay? So the homeless guy, he kept saying, straighter is greater, straighter is greater. And it made me realize because they were conducting experiments on our what? Mind. Okay, so when you put this dye or this relaxer on your head, guess what it does? The women in the salons, they became relaxed. They were quieted. They were silenced. They began to like freeze. You ever got a relaxer, black woman? How did it make you feel? It hurts so bad, you got to relax and sit still. <laughs> when you're getting your hair dyed, when you're dyeing your hair. It almost feels like this process, right? My hair is processing. Huh, all of it simultaneously connects. Okay, so something is for me, but not. What seems one way is not. Okay, so let's continue. What does it mean to get slayed? You black woman, we say this all the time. I'm slayed, she slayed me. My hair slay, slay. I looked up the damn etymology of slay and it means kill. It literally means to off. That's funny because you dyed my hair. There's food dye in my, there's dye in my food. And then you slaying me. So this really is a merry-go-round, right? Or the more the merry. Hmm. The homeless guy was saying straighter is greater. <laughs> Why would I want straight hair? Why do we? Why am I wearing this wig? All right, shall we continue? Let me get a sip of water because now I'm feeling like I can converse. Let me pull a card to help me conduct. Straighter is greater. Look, Ten of Swords, 
straighter is greater. This, these products, these chemicals <laughs> are literally chemically inducing us, killing us, okay, or dying us. This is actually in alignment with our chakras. Look at it. It's going straight down his back. So when the, you putting these chemicals on your head, it's going straight to your what? Your brain, which is altering your entire, what is it called? Let's just say your endocrine system. That's what it's called, your endocrine system. So from your brain, through your spine, through you, your endocrine. So let's continue. We have here red light, green light, yellow light break. Red light, green light, yellow light break. They had me write that down. Hmm. So. I was literally, this is just another experiment. <laughs> I was experimenting for my own, you know, just ob observing. Um, as I'm driving down the street, everyone, your engine is going. When you stop at a red light, your engine is going. When you accelerate, your engine is going, okay? So as you burn gas, fuel, you have to, there literally is a maze. Like your community, you know how to take different routes or detour to get to the same destination same thing when you have to sit at this red light to bring you right back to the gas station every time you stop you have to accelerate every time you you slowing down and you know you creeping up to the red light and it, it never turns green it's really just a, this is why they have cameras okay it's really just a basically like it's a test it's a, like a test run as they would say and basically what this is doing is it's like some type of time basis. Every single time someone, you know that line, when you hit the line, that's when the light turns green. It's literally an experiment, you guys. Until you hit that mark, you know, a lot of this is I personally do it. Like I don't I don't stop all the way. I don't race to the red light to stop because it burns gas that way. Just like when you speed up. You know, also, this is another thing. When you're on the highway, it's important to keep your windows up and have the AC running because it burns more fuel or more gas when the windows are down on the highway. I wonder why. So <clears throat> when you are being forced to meet that white line, that white mark on the, what is it called? The light pole to indicate to go is all like some type of like systematic, like everything is like a time stamp, okay? Everything has a time punch. Everything is like controlled, okay? So they had me write down red light, green light, yellow light, break, all right? Um, it has a lot to do with economic control, okay? Monetary gain. You have to do something to receive something you have to lose something to get something so you think you you feel me you think you just got your gas pumped up you good to go by tomorrow night you right back at the gas station and then they raise the prices so you lose um what about it so let me continue they had me write down malcolm x michael jackson and tupac so you notice with Malcolm X that first of all, they're saying X marks the spot. Something about being a, a conductor of a message or an initiate, initiative. This is who Malcolm X quote was for the people. Okay. Um, I'm also getting uh, Martin, Martin Luther King. He's another one, but um, something specifically about Malcolm X. And then we have Michael Jackson. If you pay attention to the Dangerous album, how he was decoding the matrix okay a lot of these hidden societies and whatnot etc um also this is it okay he also had a message and when they flag when you're being flagged okay once you've been marked okay hence x marks the spot once you've been marked it basically indicates that you are not only a chosen one but a targeted one so it speaks about your light. It speaks about your message, who you are, and what you're supposed to be doing for the people. 
right? And then Tupac. Yes, he could be corrupt and whatnot, but he also had a message. He was very powerful. He had his ways to meet the people, okay? Especially the hood. We're going to talk about that later. The hood. Why is it the hood? Okay? So, all lies on me. That's another way to look at it, okay? So, I also wanted you guys to look at or pay attention to Beyonce, the Renaissance, okay? Notice that. What does Renaissance mean? Do you know what Renaissance mean? It literally means rebirth, okay? To be reborn, all right? This talks about the second coming or some form of resurrection or time, something about time. It's time for something, all right? Um, notice that everyone in this world, or you may know someone who attended the Renaissance, whatever it's called, wearing her attire, wearing that attire, that, sil that silver or metallic attire, the cowgirl hat attire. Why? It was almost like some type of like hip hypnosis, okay? I was wondering, like I even seen some tarot readers who attended the Renaissance tour. It was pretty, it was, I was like, oh my God, damn, why are everybody going to this? And everyone dressed like it too, like no one wore anything plain. It was literally in the, in the, in the intent to like, we gotta wear this. Like there was no question about it. Let me pull a card on that. Cause I actually have some questions as to why. Wow, as soon as I said that, whoa. There's some type of hypnosis being done, hence MK Ultra. okay? Once you are subjected to something, this is that whole color psychology. Notice everyone was wearing that silver metallic cowgirl hat thing. Everything is control, okay? Mentally, mentally, okay? It's a mental war. So let me continue. I just heard population control. Everything is seasonal. Everything is seasonal, okay? So kind of like next it'll be right we're in the spring, so it's like a lot of like um like the spring break parties and all that. You know, everything is seasonal. Everything happens like it's predictive, okay? Some type of programming. So, pay attention. yeah look it's like almost dark versus light the five of swords things you like remember when i said turning your back turning a blind eye okay look at that it's right in front of you so this is god's way of saying it's right in front of you the truth lies right in front of you okay continue so i have here this is tupac's tupac Shakur, this is his famous line, okay? It says here, death is not the greatest loss in life. Death is not the greatest loss in life. The greatest loss in life is what dies inside while still alive, okay? Never surrender. So what does that talk about? You think, okay? So we have here, this is where it gets pretty interesting for me. <laughs> The government is within. The government is within you. Why, you may ask. Think about the news and how everything is being distilled within you or pumped. When they push something, you pick it up. You catch it because it's energy. Energy is only transmuted, okay? It can only be transferred, right? Things of that nature. I said transmuted. I mean, you can transmute it, but only if you have the eyes to see. Um, okay, so let's continue. Um, it's also in the food. Like I said, it's in the water. Like we mentioned, the government is within you. Okay. So the hypocrisy, the plan, the agenda is within you. Why? Because you are the one, you are the experiment being conducted upon. Okay. So it's you, you're the prize. <laughs> okay. You are the target. You are the aim. All right. Um, so I see here, 
Um, what's expected leads to prediction. What's expected leads to prediction, which means predictive programming. So a lot of the times we, um, we're living in a lie, basically. We're living a lie. So we may think that every day something new, notice the word news literally has new in it. We think that these things are new via the weather. We think that these people are really out here predicting the weather, <laughs> um, literally. So think about this. When you hear things like the news or you are, you're exposed to this, like this, this new agenda, okay? When you're exposed to it, it kind of hits you off guard or it catches you off guard. Notice I said hit you at first. Like the energy is being thrown as a weapon, okay? So these things are being used to program you, okay? To distill, to keep you in this, basically your, it's to keep you in your lower state, like a fearful energy, okay? Um, pay attention to the movie Monsters, Inc., okay? How they would instill this fear and like scare these children or these people for that matter into cooperation so by you being afraid by me catching you off guard and ah, you know it actually empowers me you see it empowered me because now i have control over you or i have gained control over you in that way through this way through catching you off guard is how i stay in control if you were to stand up on my ass and really say, no, nigga, you, you ain't scaring me no more. I ain't even looking your way. That's why they say turn off the news. Plant your own food. Okay? Don't drink from the faucet. All right? Sust like, literally, try sustaining outside of the matrix or outside of this system. Okay? Um, you'll find that you become a target. <laughs> why? <laughs> um... Let me see here. So what's expected leads to prediction. These people aren't predicting it. It's just what's expected next. It's an agenda. All right. So control yourself, not the algorithm. Um, this is also in the nature, the same nature of not riding the wave or not um, following the, the trends, you know, things like that actually controls your energy okay you're supposed to be in your own like notion of life okay you're supposed to be your your heartbeat is at its own rhythm and pace for a reason so pay attention to this it's science when you start to when you're induced with fear your adrenal glands they they exude that that um adrenaline you know what i mean that epinephrine it actually pumps your heart. So now you're in this fight or flight. You're stressed, you're nervous, you're anxious, you're restless, okay? Especially black men, black women. You are literally, it's hard for you to sit still because we, are, we can be so, I don't even wanna use the word, we can be so sensitive. We can be so sensitive, okay? So they know how to work the wheel. They know how to pinch feed you. They know when to blow it in your face. They know when to turn off the light. All right. You know why? Because they have studied you. Like I said, this is an experiment. This is done through research. This is years of labor and research, trial and ever error, where you are the man. You're the man in the mirror. You're the man being conducted on. Okay. So without you, there would be no there will be no hypothesis there will be no theory or nothing to be proven you feel me they're they're basically testing their own concept on you if i do this what is the response like the movie monster inc if we scream loud enough if we you know different monsters had different levels like Sol James P. Solomon or whatever his name was, he was always number one because he was the biggest, scariest. He was also the nicest. So they play in your face by purpose to see what it is, what it is or who it is that you are and how you respond, okay? So everyone has a different reaction. 
like a woman getting angry is different from a man getting angry a baby getting angry is different from a old man getting angry everything is conducted it's like a science a science to it okay because they are testing on us they are watching us okay they're also programming while they're testing so it's like a bunch of controlled basis okay yes <laughs> so let's continue the government is within all right so let's see here i also have here lo and behold lo and behold they kept saying that in the movie lo and behold okay I see here um, agreeability. We are very adaptable as melanin people. We, our ability to be at peace is natural. It only comes natural. You want to help everybody you see, right? You love loving. You love love. You love to see people happy. That makes you feel good when others are doing well. Not when people are afraid and in terror. Or when you catch them at their lowest, you feel better. No, we are the opposite. We are m moral beings. We are moral beings. Okay, so agreeability is our highest. We are at our highest when we are, what is it, connecting and, and, and getting to know each other, learning, um, like corresponding with one another. We feel good. There's no pressure. You feel me? So this is why it's so easy to like throw you off and keep you off and gain from that because you're outside of your nature. You are outside of your natural being. You're not comfortable. That's why it's so hard on you. You ever ask yourself, why is it always so hard? Especially trying to do the right thing. Especially trying to find peace. Especially loving. Why is it hard in return? You feel me? So agreeability, that has a lot to do. They, they play with this. They play with your mind because they want to keep you in this, this, this slumber. Okay, this, this, I wrote rhythm. Okay, because like I said, your heart has its own pace. Okay, notice they call it pacemakers. Okay, your heart has your own beat. So it's important for you to stay on beat, okay? Stay in touch, things of that nature. When you have men out here who say like, fuck her, or, men, or women, like, um, or you, you hear men, I don't love no hoe, I don't love no thotties. Like you hear a lot of these celebrities pushing this message. Men or women, they always say like, I don't trust no nigga. I don't love no nigga. Like the city girls really push that message. No love. Rod Wave. Hard on ice. Like we all, we've been induced over, this is years of experimenting, you guys. Where we are now, now Sexy Red is normal. Now Cardi B is normal. It is natural to be in that state, to operate in that level of hate, separation, okay? This is an experiment being done on you. All right, don't shoot the messenger. Let me see. So, lo and behold, um, I have here, we are bait. We are bait debating. We are bait debating. I always ask myself like, why are we going against each other in this in this time? Like, we want to fight, like, who whose penis is bigger, you know, rather than looking at the gray man, the man in the middle playing both sides or hiding. He's literally body snatching, body jumping, hip hopping, and, and we're fighting each other. I'm going against you because I don't know who's doing it to me. And that's the game. That's the gimmick. That's the, the gag. I'm going to hide behind you in the shadow, okay? and use you against you, your own kind, your own being, your own flesh. This is why a lot of your, your parents are against you. A lot of your siblings, you don't trust, <laughs> okay? So it's like, it's like we are the bait. We are the bait, debating. Crabs in a barrel, <laughs> okay? Literally. So let me see here.
have here everybody doing the same thing. Everybody doing the same thing. Hmm. I was literally, I like to use me as an example. I was literally driving down the street and I noticed people want to like, people want to race to get in front of you to be at the same red light. <laughs> people literally will fight you, shoot you for skipping them in line and we all in the same waiting time. Like, we all doing the same thing. They all got us in the same box. Why are you fighting me? Like the, the, the door before the room or the room before the door, excuse me. We are all in this waiting cell. So why are we going against each other and not trying to, we're not finding the problem. We're not finding the problem. We're just fighting each other. It's almost driving us insane to be amongst each other. They got us so compact like lab rats trust me i'm gonna get into it and we're so irritated and stressed my brother and my sister we are so stressed out and overthrown that we start to we take our frustrations out on each other and that's the product that is the medicine your anger your your impatience your frustration Take it out on them. <laughs> Don't look at me because I'm not the one who holding you down. It's literally like someone got you cuffed and you kicking me. Someone got you cuffed and you kicking at me because you can't see. Why you can't see? Look at that, stressed, stressed. Can't think, can't create, can't move, can't feel, can't love because you're too caught up in stress. You're too buried in pain. Okay? So let me see. I wrote down Chick-fil-A new recipe. Y'all know this Chick-fil-A got a new recipe. What could be new about chicken? What's the new recipe about chicken? Pay attention, y'all. Y'all remember when um, Popeye's first dropped their chicken sandwiches? Y'all remember that? And the line was literally, I think it was recorded in Georgia or South Carolina. The lines were literally from the restaurant, like blocks down. It was people in cars waiting for this chicken sandwich. Why? When we all have the money, you got the money to wait. You have the time to waste. You have the money to wait in line burn your gas just to get one chicken sandwich when you can go right up the street to the store be in and out and go make your own food what is in this food what type of drug can be so addicting that one can't even see what's right in front of them what is driving your car okay so pay attention to it's in the food it's in the food you notice when people, certain people, they eat, they fight over food, like in Walmart. In Walmart, you will fight, people will fight over, can you, wait, let me just stop right there. Can you imagine when all of the food is gone, how people are going to respond to one another? We are literally going to become beasts, okay? Like, I'm, I'm willing to kill you right now if you touch this last apple, because it is the last apple. I got babies at home. It's going to be hell. <laughs> like these people are really going to be squaring up. Okay. For food. In day. In present day. Walmart is packed with food. Walmart is stuffed with food. They even got back stock. People literally will like bombard you. To get to the same aisle. We can both be on at the same time. I can't like I can't explain it enough. Like people, I can see it in their attitude. I can see it on their face. Dude, chill out. Like, I, it's just, it's not. It's not. <laughs> That's what I want to say. It's not. But I mean, we've come to that point. Like people are so in a rush and they want to fight you. They're so angry and tense for no, they don't even know. Save yourself. Okay. So 
we are the bait debating um i have here obey okay being obedient so that brings us to church okay or religious factors okay being obedient okay um following the word practicing the word things of that nature we've been distilled to this concept since a child okay we've been trained to obey since before birth okay so let me see here this is an equity so i want you to look up the the word inequity and what does it mean basically what i have here is it is a moral and a grossly it's immoral and grossly unfair behavior okay it's from who this could be from you this could be from the gray man this could be from your teacher this could be from anybody you may know inequity it's like crabs in a barrel okay we're all racing to the same tree stump it's still not there it's the room before the door we're we're, we're gonna bump heads if we're both battling eye to eye we'll both be left blind same thing different day we wake up every day doing the same thing everybody at duncan pissed off because they don't have enough sugar in their coffee okay same thing <laughs> so i wanted to bring this up now that we have the church brung up so you notice that in church if you haven't noticed the stained glass on the wall i want you to pay attention to that because that has a very symbolic reason to it it has a symbolic meaning excuse me you may have your own meaning or understanding about it right whatever you may feel but for me what i noticed with the stained glass it kind of looks like a broken shattered mirror okay notice it looks like a shattered mirror okay so what i have here is if we were quote made in his image that explains a lot if we were made in his image and then i look around in the church house or the temple and it's broken shattered glass you feel me with color again that color psychology okay and all of these imageries that are basically painting me out to be what it is if i was made in his image that tells me that something is corrupt that tells me that something is broken okay so i also have optical illusion that's an optical illusion go look what that means go look it up it talks a lot about the designing of things okay the patterns can let me let me read it it says something that deceives the eye by appearing to be other than it is so i have here iconography i think it's iconography and you can go look this up as well it says the science of identification description or interpretation of symbols in art okay so let me read that again iconography iconography i hope i'm saying that right it's the science of identification description or interpretation of symbols in art okay so if we were made in his image this is symbolic to something okay everything is designed right this design is literally a depiction of something but i'm supposed to be made in that image and then we got to talk about the white face how come everything is white everything tied to white is a positive notation to it but when we talk about something black it's a negative aspect to it like black magic <laughs> that's already death <laughs> and then you turn around but you see white angels or white boards or what white angels white jesus what is it um angels food cake it's white <laughs> devil's food cake is what so let's keep going um so i broke some things down america i broke the word america down <laughs> it literally means for me a lot of these things are just interpretations so the things that i interpret um but it makes sense so i'm not just telling you something that you don't need to know 
um, Amir, Amir Rika. So I broke it down, Amir Ik, Amir Ik, okay? So that talks about, you know, <clears throat> some type of division, okay? Notice they have Trump, his slogan, Trump has a slogan and it's to make America great again, basically, right? So it was kind of funny how the ancestors had me rewrite it or rescripted America great again, the America great again. So it kind of sound like it was like this, like reversed lib. It was, it's kind of weird, but it talked about the divided states. We're called the United States, but like I said, it makes me wonder. A mere ick. It talks about some type of illness. It sounds like an illness. It sounds like some type of corrupted states, divided states. Okay, so that's what they had me write down. And then they went to mention lo and behold again. So let me see here. Let's get some energy behind that. I think it's funny that they have him saying that um, to make America great again. Who's the president today? Do you know? They, they may show you a president, but like it could be like pres the president from years ago. For example, Obama, who's still in lead or in charge, but they're using a white face to control. Okay. I just heard seasonal depression. Okay. It makes me feel like um, like economic, like some type of downfall in the economy. Think about the Great Depression or whatever it's called. It really feels like that. So it feels like the judicial system generally, the whole politics, etc. I'm not even going to get into it because I don't know. Um, it feels like the entire system is not only corrupt, but it's so corrupted that it's crumbled. It is crumbled. Okay. So like I said, you don't even know who the president is. <laughs> It's like we have come so lost in the lie. It doesn't even, it doesn't need for explanation. You know what I mean? They don't feel the need to explain what's going on or to, to make it right. Okay. That should tell you a lot. So that means anything they introduce, we are willing to be seduced. Anything they introduce, we are willing to be, we're up to be seduced because there's no control. There is no navigation. So that means anything they bring forth is what? It's okay. It's it it it's it's lawable or whatever. It's something to be considered. It's like we don't have a mind of our own. We just they're 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 feeding us like rats and we're just eating. It's like pinch feeding. Or bread crumbing is a better word. All right. It's like they got us wrapped around some type of scam. All right. Let me see here. So in the movie, they were programming the black women. <laughs> um, they were programming the black women. <clears throat> they were saying, you can feel beautiful. I can feel beautiful. You can feel beautiful. I can feel beautiful. So pay attention to some things like whitewashing versus black facing. It's like an imitation game. Okay. Um, let me say it again. Whitewashing versus black facing. All right. So I wrote the word imitate and then it literally sounds like inmate. Okay. To imitate is like an inmate. So when you have the word, um, think about bunks, bunks and inmate or jail cells, because like I said, we are the bait debating. Um, 
So think about what an inmate is and how they are on bunks. Think about what, like, think about how science labs are set up and how it's like everything is, it's, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, think about like when you're doing an experiment, when you're conducting an experiment and it's like, you see how things are like layered and like set up basically everything has like this 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 you know process to it i'm just gonna say so if you notice inmates they wear black and white okay just like it's us black versus white okay or sometimes black versus black just how they want it in the jail men on men okay um so to debunk to debunk you of something right so i looked up what does it mean because we have bunks in jails so what does it mean to debunk someone um stay with me it says to expose someone especially by ridicule okay it means to mock okay it means to mock someone okay so it goes to say together or excuse me hold on i'm kind of losing myself goes to say together we make america great again to this soul okay so yes so i looked up debunk and that basically it 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 added to what it meant okay like this like symbolism um almost like plagiarism for example um so in the movie they clone tyrone they kept saying, you can feel beautiful, I can feel beautiful. Let me go back there. If you notice the whole, like, cover girl thing, you know, the cover girl thing, it talks a lot about hiding your skin or tainting who you are, changing who you are. Um, and as you begin to, you know, adapt to that being, you know, you notice these colors change you. Okay, so like they say, show me your true colors. You begin to, your your nature becomes faded, okay? So that's what I wanted to pay attention to. When they whitewash you, they try to control your your nature, you know, who you are, your, your true being, right? Your natural self. When you are black facing, that means they're pretending to be who they aren't, okay? So it's like a lot of white women you notice they may want to get their lips bigger or they want to tan a lot um you notice also like white women are starting to get like wigs it's like they give you them to take it back or they debunk you to become it so it's like it, it, it starts to put you in this psychological warfare where you don't know who to be when all along it's it's you to be okay so it's funny now you have black women wanting to be more and more contained or they want to fit in to the the the, the expectation of reality okay long hair long eyelashes clear brighter skin okay um sh like i said sh if if it's not long hair it's straight hair so they're relaxing um contacts is another thing in this society also like i'm noticing something with our bodies as women we don't enjoy our curves anymore especially as mothers we don't love ourselves you know to that extent we have to stay in this barbie doll right figure shape and it's like the white women they they want the hips they want the curves the white men look at the black women for that so it's so thrown off <laughs> like we don't even know where to start and the only way out i say this all the time is within so it's like we're running from our own reflection you have to stop and look at the what michael say man in the mirror that's where the war began that's where it will end with you so trump goes to say together 
together we make america great again that's funny huh together so something made me look up tethered soul what does it mean to be tethered okay because together and tethered right so what is a tethered soul <clears throat> So it's a will's desire to meet an emotional need. Just listen, just listen. It's a will's desire to meet an emotional need and in in frustration. So you're working towards something that you know is going to fail. Okay? You're going you're going to work every day. You're waking up every day to make money to pay bills. So you're in the same cycle you started in before, right? Um so we think we're winning when we pay taxes, right? And we get our back tax and it's like, that's the money you actually earned all year. So it's like, okay, um, we think we're winning when they give us, give us what they call those um, stimulus checks. We think we're winning when that's the taxes you pay out every day. <laughs> so yeah, um, they bread crumb us, you guys um there's another great example i had with that um like when you get paid when you get paid at a job you have your salary rate they literally pay you just enough based upon your income so it's like making the rich richer okay um and then government assistance for the low for the lower income you we become more and more reliant on food stamps and um you know like what is it like um not like EB, not EBT, um, you know, like government assistance. I'm just going to say we become more and more reliant on that. You see like people are, especially our colored, we are section eight, you know, things of that nature. It's like we become so hip to it and so stressed and so overworked and tired and all of these things that it's almost like we, that's our foundation. Okay, that's our founding father, you know, the government. And it's kind of funny. So I feel like it's like uh, they give us just enough to bring us back. You know what I mean? Okay, so EBT is so good to have. And then once it's gone, it's like, damn, I kind of need that again. Like, you know, so now you find yourself waiting for it, expect expecting on it. You know what I mean? Um. So I find that very interesting. And I noticed that with government assistance, you know, like the elders, the colored are like put into like assistant living, you know, if not like homeless. And then the Caucasians or Europeans, Asians, etc., they are put into assistant living, but it's in their own place. I I used to clean for a living. Um I used to clean, I used to do like maid cleaning. And a lot of those elders, they would get like social security, but they would be living in like a paid home. So it's like, it would be like this, like they were taken care of almost. Like they ain't gotta worry about nothing. Medicare is paid up to date. Like everything was good. But for black people, we didn't have Medicaid, so we would suffer. Even though that still kills us, I'm just saying. Um, it's like, we still suffer either way. So it's like, we always get the short end of the stick where the white people, they're in their own spaced out community. We're stacked on top of each other, depending on section eight, you know, we're waiting on that next check every two weeks when we work every day. So yeah. Also notice, this is another thing I had to mention. I notice when people, they get up, they go to work every day. They can't wait to get off. They're so tired you know um and then when they're finally off they're preparing for work again it's like that's the only thing they've been conditioned to know okay it's like control you know um when you get off you're on your off day it's like either you expect to go back to work tomorrow or it's like you can't wait because it's like you, that's all you know you know what i mean kind of like when we used to be in school and we would get a break you know like spring break summer break winter break we couldn't wait to go back to school. It was this anticipation. But when we were in school, it was like, damn, I can't wait to get out. It's because we are hipped. That's a sign of hypnotism. Okay. Yes. Um, yes. Let me see here. Where are we? So, yes. 
So let me, I have to reread what I said. Tethered soul, it's a will's desire to meet an emotional need and end in frustration because the temporary fix always leads to being chained to an unhealthy cycle. The, the guarantee, or excuse me, is that what I wrote? Um, yeah, the guarantee repeats emptiness, okay? So that's the guarantee. You'll always be left in frustration or you'll always be left like disappointed, okay? So that guarantee repeats emptiness and shame. You realize there your limits and confinement. Damn, there's something like every time I save the bill, like inflammation, you know, or every time I like every it's like if it's not one thing, it's another. OK, so when they say the struggle is real, basically what they're saying is the struggle is normal. OK, like this is how it is. We got to get it how we live. That's that type of mentality we've been induced with. OK, like sh to struggle to be upset like for someone to like disrespect you as a woman this is natural like you call me a bitch i'm okay with that like at, at this point you feel me that's what it is so we've become hipped to the hypnotism okay like i know y'all controlling us pay me you know <laughs> that's where it's at all right so it, it comes to a point in time where the needy becomes greedy the needy becomes greedy. They they play, they showed you this in the movie Time Out. Timed Out, I think it was with Justin Timberlake. I think it's called Timed Out. And it's basically where time became the currency. So they would use their wrist, which shows you something else, to buy coffee. And it, it was like, dang, um, a cup of coffee is five minutes. And once you run out of time, you're dead. So the the... It's like the poverty, those in lower class were always racing against time. This is why we're always hustling, always rushing. We don't sit down. It's hard for us to catch a breath, okay? Because it's it's a race against time. And then it's like the rich, they got all the time in the world. And it's funny, the woman in the movie, she said, I can tell you come from a lower class because of how fast you're moving. People who got all the time don't move. They don't got to move so fast. And it told me a lot. I think you should go watch that movie. Um, but yeah, it shows you, okay, how they make the rich richer and the poor have to suffer. That's why the needy became the greedy, okay, when we are just the ones in need. Um, yeah. They're also saying how the needy, those in poverty, actually inspire those at the top. Why? Because there's a there's power in the struggle. Let me see here. Yeah, there's power in the struggle. So I have here again the placebo effect you won't be able to tell the difference okay I only tell you the difference or you think the difference you believe the difference it's even an emotional thing um, it's also preference you know give me the bigger dosage so it works harder so it's stronger you know what I mean so it has more of an effect when actually taking this little bit of this tranquilizer is going to really slow you down you see so the placebo effect it can many pills are white but which one works the right way okay let me see here huh so something about the mass majority okay so at the bottom, um, it, it may feel crowded. It may feel like overpopulated, right? They tell us this all the time, but really at the top, it's almost like isolated or at the top, we it's like the room before the door. Everyone's trying to rush and make it and win and be so rich, but it's like, that's the lonely, like, like I said, people at the top are inspired by those at the bottom. This is why we are the experiment. They're doing, the, they're conducting on us. 
we are the 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 the, the main attraction to this show game okay it's funny but it's real okay and there's also it's a sense of humility in those who have to struggle or make it out you know we come we're cut different okay and i want you to remember that there's not you're not like less than because you're at the bottom where it seems like less it's like it's, it's opposite bro okay it's opposite notice he's the only one with the light he's the only one with the light so it may be hard to stand out or stand alone but with that comes power you find your confidence in that way you learn the truth being at the bottom whereas if you were born into this system like you know like a lot of these children these celebrity children they are like it's inherited to be connected to the blockchain okay to be connected to this currency it's it's like will smith's kids for example they're in something they couldn't even they don't even know where to start how to get out you understand what i'm saying i'm just saying for an example but it's like we are the light at the bottom of the barrel <laughs> that's why we're the support to this game to this world to this system we're holding everybody up literally and they want you to think that like having all the riches and the money is the way out when it's really inside of you okay it's inside of you that's why a lot of them who are at the top are miserable you notice that or depressed sad drugged out not a lot of your neighbors <laughs> they going to, they getting up and going to work every day faithfully they're not really too too i mean they they do got it hard i ain't gonna i ain't gonna lie about that but they don't want to take their lives you know they're not running and avoiding publicity and social media and being targeted by 80 billion people which is driving them to that point you feel me so there's a catch you the one with the heart all right, let me see. <clears throat> so I have here, this brings me to my next point. Specific people over and over again. So in the movie, they only had, in the movie they cloned Tyrone, they only had specific people cloned. They only had specific people, okay? So when you be like, oh, they're targeting me, no, they in love with you, okay? They want you. They want what you got. They want what you can give. Like I said, um, they, you, what did I say? Um, I know what you like. You got what I want. So this is like a whole, it's a feeding tube. It's a feeding tube. Like if I can keep you doped up on my drug, that means you're always going to come back running for more. You're always going to come back for more if i can give you a piece of this drug though only if you take it so if you're willing to give me you i'll give you my product and you'll never be the same so it's a mind game <clears throat> specific people only specific people are copied over and over and over and over again okay so i have here we the people we are the targeting audience you are the targeting audience black woman black man the reason the hood, this is where the hood comes up. And I've seen somebody comment neighborhood, motherhood, childhood, things of that nature. But really, what is what do they why do they call us the hood? Why do they call us the hood? Like y'all hood or let, let's go to the hood, you know, things of that nature. Why is it referenced in that way? So what I have here is solar power. Okay. I have solar power. So there's a certain thing that when we are, when we're in the hood, there's a certain abundance to us, okay? Yes, it, it may be like low, it may look dirty, or it may look sprung out, not as rich, but there's something about the hood that's family, okay? That's blood, like my people's over there, bro. Like it's something about the hood, if you know, you know, all right? So it's not just what they made it out to be you know that movie boys in the hood 
why why did they show us in that manner like people getting killed someone getting a scholarship but dying right before women at early age getting pregnant why do they why do they push that message you know what i mean everything has a a a, a catch to it or some type of like there's a reason being okay so they had me write down solar power let me sit up oh i guess this wanted to come through at the right time solar power you have the mind of the universe within you black man black woman your soul <laughs> that's the solar power okay you you are literally the engine running okay the the cars you hear that gas okay is based on your dna believe it or not the food is based on your dna okay the water resources is based on you black woman black man so they put you with they throw you in the cage but they 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 find themselves coming right back okay so kind of like the zoo they throw you in the cage but you are the money maker you understand that that's exactly what it is you are the experiment okay they are just the ones making the the theory or they their their you know hypothesis and shit like that on you so let me see here So, something about fear-based, fear-based, okay? Something about being fear-based. Like I said, when you're stuck operating in your, I say your lower self, but when you're stuck operating, vibrating, having sex all the time, scared all the time. All you hear, the first thing you hear waking up is gunshots and helicopters, ambulance, okay? All of this is not only a part of an experiment, but it's a part of you, okay? So when you see things like, you're, you're, when you're in fear, okay? When you hear certain things and it brings a reaction out of you, okay? This is only to keep the system running, okay? So cause and effect, this is cause and effect, all right? um so i have here low um socioeconomic status low socioeconomic status okay i'm busy i know but it's important i need the fan out of there no government experiments government existence way? Government experience. I can't. I'm on live. I'm on live. I can't. Um, you have to. Okay, so let me continue. Government experiments. This is so annoying. Government experiments. Government assistance. Okay, so government experiments equals government assistance. Let that sink in. Government experiments equals government assistance. Okay, so literally, when your your grandmother starts to become codependent on the machines and the medicines, and your children need the you feel me food stamps, and you are putting them in these educational systems, you feel me that is a part of the experiment okay how you guys respond to it how fast you adapt to it okay how you guys learn from it what do you pick up from it okay that's that whole um hmm Okay, so I'm just going to let her know you're going to come by in the morning, so don't sit on the floor now. Low social. Okay, let me continue. I feel like I'm in two worlds right now, but I'm going to just keep going. <laughs> I'm going to live. Leave me the fuck alone. Okay. Let me continue. You see when I just got, like, angry like that? You see how much power I just gave away? That's the, that's the power in it. Things like that. Distractions. You know, they come about all day, every day to piss you off, to irritate you, to do whatever they want, okay? And leave, to get a reaction out of you, to get a response, you feel me? 
because that is power in the making. And that power, notice it's called power plant, okay? That very energy is what is used to keep this system running, okay? Pay attention now. So let me see here. Um, so I wrote down population control. In the hood, you notice that they have like upstairs, downstairs buildings. Like I'm not talking about like my house is upstairs, downstairs. I'm talking about my neighbors are upstairs. Walls be this thin. I kid you not. Okay. We are literally stacked like lab rats. Okay. And we wonder why we feel so emotional distress all the time because you hear their conversations you picking up on their energy they picking up on yours you get upset at your mama you know you get upset at your dog you run in the room you're pushing that energy energy don't die this is also why they got us trapped in these boxes squares trap energy it keeps you in a docile right so that also takes you back to your lower self you know, if I give you what you don't need, you know, and you keep like I keep pushing it on you and keep pushing it on you, eventually it's going to become you. So I notice outside the entire system is wired like the light poles, the the towers, like it's literally we're boxed in. We're boxed in in the inside of our house when we step outside. The backyard is like wired in like it is so much construction. Notice they call it construction workers. There is so much construction around us. It keeps us literally contrapped in in a box, in a box, in a box, in a box. Why? Because they don't want you to feel free. They don't want you to feel at ease. OK, when you don't feel at ease, nigga, you're pushing this stress. Your adrenal chrome or your adrenal glands is pumping, is moving. And that stress hormone, it is more powerful than love. Why? Because it is your anger. It's your frustration. And when you're always in this survival mode state, you're in your beasthood. When you're in your beasthood, you're outside of yourself. Okay, now you got other shit manipulating you. Now you got other things controlling you. Now you can't think. Now you can't think straight. That's why they say when you're having a fight, don't be upset because you're not thinking straight. You're not able to maneuver in the right way. Okay. Everything is used against you because you're more powerful when you're thrown off. Notice what I said, like the movie Monster Inc. So we're dealing with mad scientists here. We're dealing with mad scientists. Okay. These people don't want what's best. They're not testing what's best. They want you to be at your worst, okay? So it says here, <clears throat> um, kill the unwanted. So that population control, they literally have a milestone or whatever it's called, like a, a, a monument type stone in Georgia that talks about population control and how they want to keep humanity under a certain percentage. Okay. They always tell us that we're populated, but we're stacked like lab rats, like this whole community, the hood, whatnot. There's upstairs, downstairs, but we, we barely have space. I barely could stand up straight. <laughs> like we are literally stacked on top of each other. And then we wonder why we don't feel at peace. We wonder why we always fight in each other. <clears throat> so they're trying. I also feel like because I have written down kill off the unwanted. OK. They want to kill off like you notice when they pushed us with the coronavirus, the coronal virus. <laughs> Okay, which talks a lot about like that solar power, coronal virus, um, talks a lot about the sun. I feel like by them pushing this, this, this negative energy, you know, and quote killing the elders, you notice it said like a lot of elders were being affected by it. Not a lot of the youth, maybe, but I noticed a lot of elders. Okay, so I feel like with that being said, with that being done, okay. It's, it's like some type of 
wave to like it's like slowly removing the unneeded the unwanted to get to the youth okay why they want to get to the youth because the the younger the more the more fresh okay like they always say fresh bait you know we are the bait okay so the older people get the less they need you okay you already done wore out <laughs> so it's like for for whatever reason they notice that children have a sweeter essence children have a less tampered with energy okay it's not as like bothered and controlled or it, it it has it's like a sense of vulnerability to children which is why they target kids a lot okay that movie monster inc really exposed it okay why children um let me see here i have the question you ever ask yourself why is it so hard generally why is it so hard okay let me see here so they had me write down you are captain america you ever wonder what was that book about captain america you are the captain america okay so captivating so captivating okay black man black woman you are captain america so captivating held captive okay <laughs> It's like, get the picture, picture that. That's literally what I'm hearing. <laughs> um, so I keep getting something about like always yawning, always being sleepy or sleepy eyes, okay? Tiredness um, in the black community, okay? I don't know if it's because of the foods they may eat or what they watch, okay? How they operate, like... It could be the 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 mental the mental okay. There's always a sense of like sleepiness, tiredness, drought. You know, I wonder why when we are so powerful and so energetic and so spirited, we are so joyful. Hmm. Like sometimes I get around my own people and I feel the need to like not only like remove myself because the energy be so low, but it's like. Sometimes I feel like I gotta calm down, you know, like they ain't like nigga, we ain't that happy. I don't know. It always feels that. Why? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to get at. So I wrote down osmosis because in the movie they clone Tyrone. Whew. The guy he mentioned osmosis. Okay, and I looked it up. It says here the process. It's a process, okay? The process of gradual or unconscious assimilation of ideas or knowledge, behavior, okay? So basically, I had to look up what is assimilation because if it's a process of like something that's being like bestowed on someone like ideas or certain behaviors, okay? certain practices right if it's being pushed onto you i had to look up what is assimilation right so it says here it's a process of adapting the language or culture okay of a dominant social group or nation all right so social integration i feel like that is literally the that's the product of of creation right there when we're born, the first thing we're told to believe or taught to believe, even by our predecessors, is to pray for forgiveness. To, I don't know, follow Christ. Um, we're born in sin. Like, we're literally taught these very harsh things as forgiven children. Okay, if Jesus, quote, died for someone's sin, why am I born in sin? It's like a contradiction on itself. So we are literally osmosis. This is something they mentioned in the movie. We are being shown and told how to go about, how to live life, how to practice, how to think, how to walk, how to speak. Okay. 
we're adapting to outside cultures that don't belong to us. You think about that and then we wonder why we don't feel good. We wonder why we don't want to be with a woman as a man. We wonder why we don't want to be with a man as a woman because you're out you're you're literally going against your roots. Okay? But you got to think about it. Our very ancestors are also being subjected to this very behavior. Okay? So ask yourself, where does it start? Within you. Okay? Yes. Okay? It's a world. They had me write this down. This is something else that was stated in the movie. This was a great reference. We're living in a world constantly at war with itself let that sink in okay but we're also told how to live in this world how to operate how to adapt in this world or to this world but the world is never at peace with itself hmm. so yes keeping the divided states united <laughs> um they also had me write down freeze tag They had me write down freeze tag. Hmm. It makes me think of when children, not children, um, when people pass away and they go to the uh, that funeral home thing. Um, we all have like tags on our feet or on our legs. Um, also, when you're born, you're given a tag, like almost like a serial number. Okay. Um, which make, basically objectifies us, okay? It literally puts a number over our head, you know, and we're given a name. <laughs> so it's it's kind of funny, like, on that very same birth certificate, that number, that barcoding, your name is there, which is why they call it your government name. You notice that? Let me see, because they said... It's giving me like, tag your it. Here it is again, that energy, turning a blind eye, okay? Depression. Why is depression at such a high, high rate? These are things to ask yourself. Mental illness is it's it's normal to be delusion to live in illusion is normal okay like every day you see women saying like um like just going against their morals basically i don't even want to get into it you have women going against their own morals okay their own nature you know doing things okay i guess i can get into it doing things like um birth control you know, saying like, I don't want to have kids, basically, who cares? Um, I don't want to bring kids into this world and then literally abandon their own nature, their own self. So um, it tells me that like a lot of this illusion, this this lie is it's OK. <laughs> it's it's the way we choose to live. So I guess choose or be chosen. Exactly. The Ace of Pentacles. You know when they say um, beggars can't be choosers? It literally talks about those sitting at the bottom of the mat. I just heard to be or not to be. Let me continue. Y'all, I'm literally almost, I thought I was almost done. <laughs> well, actually I am. Yeah, let me see here. So we're living in a world like I said, um, that's constantly at war with itself. Um, in this movie, he went to mention there's no common ground, okay? There's no dialogue and there is no peace, all right? So that tells you that, yes, we are literally being controlled or we're obeying a government, a system that doesn't even want to care that doesn't even try to help okay so how can we be like like the police system how can we be protected when we feel threatened the moment we see them okay that's that adrenaline again 
the moment you see a police we have been so abused normally that it's not to protect and serve it's to kill and threaten and bother and harass okay like i know i gotta pay when you done with me like I, I'm, I'm gonna get it this is not to protect and to serve okay so things of that nature how can we be so codependent on them it says here you are the product in the making so things like plane engines you guys i mentioned this before things like plane engines okay tire screeching sirens alarms dogs barking flashing lights okay even ads the ads on your phone you are you you have to watch okay um this is all an experiment all right think about it it's always playing in the background so we are literally dealing with dark psychologists here and what i have written is they want to know what happens when you get mad black man black woman they want to know what happens when you get mad what takes place when a baby cries okay when it's frustrating when you're at your last breath what would you do which is why slavery took place the way that it did to beat you and crucify you which is that whole mirroring mockery to crucify you to lynch you in front of uh, uh, their family and enjoy it eat dinner to rape you and laugh okay to kill your babies and throw them to the alligators or other or other animals and it become entertainment they want to know you and your product they want to know your nature like they ask you black woman black man what do you have on your skin can i touch your hair you are amusing you are captivating held captive okay so when you see all of these things like this is a these are dark psychologists so they want to they want to know your dark nature i always tell y'all that dark matter in you black woman black man we're always taught to be loving and light but when it's time for you to turn up and go to war that's when they want to get afraid that's when they afraid but we aren't threatening you they want to know exactly that they can't understand it that's why they throw a rock and hide that's why they want to test you that's why when when white boys call you nigger and run today they are testing you you know how they say you testing my gangster no really because they want to they, it's like they want your pressure they don't want the pressure they want your heat they want you to waste your damn time on them but they don't want to really see you why like the white woman who had the little boy emmett literally like brutalized because he whistled at her but i don't even think it was and then she went back and said he didn't do it it was the power that came with it kill him for me yes they want to be in power that's why they say white power no yes this frustrates me um which is why i need to stay calm <laughs> um but at, at at some point in time black woman black man we gonna put down these peaceful ass sticks and we gonna pick up our real guns okay i'm talking about this i'm talking about this okay a lot of the times we are we're fighting and we don't know why we're fighting we're angry we don't know why we're angry we're not even mad at each other it's the gray man it's the one in the middle that's hiding and playing both sides playing government assistance playing righteous leader playing god playing your teachers playing your doctors yeah you are the reason they are who they are and you keep it that way because you don't know they're using you against you so 
the reason I say this, the movie Monster Inc., they want to abuse you. Like, even in a lot of the industry, these musicians, they do the humiliation rituals. I, I heard this before, and I'll use this as a good example. They literally beat children in front of people and make them watch. What type of experiment is that you see let's just keep it cool what type of experiment would that be i want to beat this child to death and make it scream make it cry michael jackson actually was talking about this in an interview he had where they use the screams the cries the blood of harm children to make their music more powerful what type of science is this this is dark psychology. This is manip heavy manipulation, okay? This is inequity. This is something we cannot even see. But it's being done right over our heads, in our heads. Like they say, straighter is greater. The perms that you putting in your scalp to relax you, oh, it's relaxing you, all right. Mm-hmm this is this was a touchy one for me because i always wonder why they had to demasculate a black man in front of his wife literally raping a black man in front of his wife what do you get out of that what type of science is this what type of experiment what type of hypothesis or prediction you made in your insanity what were you trying to prove to yourself all this free vagina out here but you want to embarrass a black man in front of his wife and kids why answer me and then they make the black woman feed their little babies their white babies they make the black woman breastfeed their children and teach their children how to be women why and you literally can look at me dead in my face and smile, but hate my guts, but love me at the same damn time. What type of, what is this? What, where are, what is this? Not where are we, what is this? What is being done to my people and me? Okay, leave our babies alone. Leave the men alone. Okay, this is why black women need to be with black men vice versa because i need to remind you honey it's okay to cry i'm not gonna laugh at you you notice a lot of these other races they have this very immortal spirit to them like they 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 get turned on by showing each other their penis they 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 they, they have they fuck each other a lot it's normal. They want to put a black man in a dress. Why? What is that? We aren't like this, people. But like I said, Kevin Hart said it and I'll say it again. It's the door or the room. Damn, I keep saying that. It's the room before the door. I'm sitting in the room, but I can't get through that door. But I signed. I signed to get here. Here's another good point. Primordial fear. I want you to go look this up, black woman, black man. Go look up what primordial fear means. Go look it up, primordial fear. I'm gonna read it to you. It literally says here, it's also known as primal fears, but primordial fear, okay? It's those that are deeply rooted in the human psyche, okay? Born out of ancestral okay notice that word ancestral it's born out of your ancestral need for survival okay so this is inherited okay these fears include what is primal primal fears or primal fears what is it these fears include okay fear of darkness how many people you know are afraid of the dark <laughs> okay afraid of heights 
afraid of predators okay so always feeling like you're gonna be attacked you always feel that yeah me too um afraid of death why because we aren't connected to our roots to know that there is no such thing as death we're also afraid of isolation why we've been so conditioned and trained to be glued to what constant stimulation constant dopamine that's why they made shorts and tiktoks and instagram reels because it's quick the quicker the more the more the merry so now you find yourself where you would have been like on the facebook or the youtube app watching one video for one hour you've been scrolling you've been induced with so many different ideologies and people energy just spewing it doesn't die you just pick it up you've been induced to so many different people and in less than an hour now you want more because you're being released that's why trends are a thing you find where you fit but we need free thinkers over here okay so loss is another thing that's another primal fear we are literally born in struggle we're raised to be afraid to to hold on you know what i mean to a lot of these worldly things okay i noticed in the movie they cloned tyrone the there was a song playing in the background and it it, it went to say can't remember anything past 11 30 and i thought about it damn can't remember anything past 11 30 what happened past 11 30 wow i'm gonna just let that sink okay Whew. so let me see here we're literally being treated like animals if you don't know now you know okay so this is a animalistic human experiment mm-hmm which is why they used to have animal zoos where the black man, the black woman would be in these cages and perform tricks. That's where the magician came into play. You're so powerful, chosen one. Let's see what you got. That's also why Sarah, I think her last name, I'm not sure if her last name, I don't want to get it wrong, but you know the ex-slave with the huge buttocks? She was so entertaining. <laughs> why it was just her genetics literally <laughs> that's also why they started that show are you smarter than a fifth grader why wouldn't we be it tells us that we're aging backwards um we're losing ourselves more than finding who we are all right so I have here listed the only thing made in color are the things they need us to buy. Look around. The only thing made in color is the things they need us to buy. Every, this is also understanding what color psychology is. They know. That's why cereal boxes are so lit up in color. Okay? Everything happens. Everything is literally... You think it's for you, think it's pretty. That's why your child loves those colorful popsicles <laughs> with all the dye in it. It's all done on purpose. I actually heard someone say that cereal is just dog food, human dog food, but I'm gonna just leave that at that because <sighs> yeah. I, I, I also think it's funny how other races eat dog food. They consume dog food. If you pay attention to the ingredients, it's literally like things we would consume. It's nothing is done by accident, okay? You also pay attention to how a lot of these other races are converting back into their natural instinct, their natural nature. They're going back to all fours, okay? For a reason. I feel like it has a lot to do with that sun, those solar rays. Or what do they call it? 
coronal holes. Everything is happening in season, okay? All right, let me see here. So I have here, it's in your reflection. It's in your reflection. A lot of people can't see what's going on because they can't get out. Notice, pay attention to the movie, Get Out. How they would use your body to literally like put, they would, okay, so I'm just go to the movie, Get Out. When they would take their, you remember the maid, they called her grandma? And then the, the groundskeeper, they called him grandpa, okay? So what the lady would do is take black people and literally, the guy call it um, sex slave, but basically what it was about was um, like they would use your body, your conscious to like, they would put their conscious in it their brain, okay, so their their existence, their conscious, their memories, and use your body to sustain, which is what they're doing now, <laughs> okay? Not only are they using our bodies, this is why, like, clones are a thing. This is why I started this reading. They use you to withstand the energy of this new realm, this new vibration. There's a new vibration and it gets newer and newer and newer every day, okay? So basically a lot of the things they do, they not only like take your energy and it's called like energy usurping, they take your energy and they utilize it in ways through music control, okay? Through food control, water, that your mind is the power here. So, um. Like they say, where your focus goes, your energy flows. They they consume you, okay? This is why a lot of people are soulless, okay? Um, they're operating, they're there, like I see you, like I said, but I, you're, it's like I see you, but you're nowhere to be found, okay? <clears throat> um, yeah, so pay attention to that. Also, like, babies, this keeps coming up, the energy of it. Like, um, a lot of the times you may see, like, trick-or-treat, you know, H Halloween. It's the babies, okay? Um, things like, like certain conditionings, basically. I'm just going to generalize it. Certain conditionings can keep people energy flowing and flowing and flowing. Like Christmas, everyone, energy, the energy is higher, okay? Um... Easter, for example, the energy is high. Valentine's Day, the energy, like all of these are like mimicking to usurp, okay? So the movie Get Out basically was explaining that for us, how we can be in our body, but like behind our body, it like the shadow. Um, you remember the guy Andre, when they took a picture of him in the movie Get Out and he flashed back? Like he was able to like remember and like come back to himself. I found that very weird. Okay. I think I'm going to pull a card on that just to get information on it. Because I find that things like that. Like being reminded or like flashbacks. Or you you ever felt like you were in a trance, you know, and you, you were like daydreaming. You couldn't move or something like that. I feel like that has a lot to do with that. Okay. Like when people be like, snap out of it, you know, like that. <laughs> so Spirit says it has a lot to do with authority, okay? Authority, who's in charge, okay? A lot of the times you don't understand the power of your 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 force which talks about a positive negative charge okay who's in charge 
So a lot of the times just standing underneath the sun can be like deteriorating to the impure or the inorganic. Why? Because the sun is a it's a it's a detoxifier, it's a cleanser, it's a purifier. Okay, it's a life bearer. It's the most natural resource we have or source we have on this planet. Period. So a lot of the times when people start burning underneath the sun, it talks a lot about being inorganic, okay? Not being able to sustain. That also talks about mortality, okay? Which is why they're working so hard against the organic race. You may wonder why me, why us, right? <laughs> you don't even understand your power, your glow. Look, we have the tower moment to the six of cups, I want to say. And then look, the judgment. Look at all this ending. A lot of things have to go. A lot of things have to go. I'm also getting including the moon. I'm getting including the moon. Wow. Double whammy. I just heard that. It's also giving me the vibe before you know it. Like the sky is falling. So you, like a rat, like a rat, they don't know that, they don't understand the concept of a wheel, you know, the rat wheel. They don't understand the concept of it until they're out of it. Kind of like a mouse trap. They don't understand the concept of it until it's too late. Same shit, same shit, okay? <laughs> um, so I have written here, I'm almost done. I have written here, silent self-discovery. It's important to isolate yourself or to remove yourself to discover who you are, okay? Silent self-discovery. You'll start to remember a lot. And I want you to remember that I'm saying that, okay? You'll start to remember a lot more when you are kept in silence or isolation, when you separate from the corruption, okay? Because you'll, as long as you have friends or you're always in the mix you'll ne you'll always be distracted there'll always be something like they say like it's lit they always say that it's lit over here hey we turn as long as you in that mist there's always going to be some type of like um entertainment i don't care where you are where you go there's always entertainment but until you step outside of that and can control yourself and set boundaries start to regulate your own self in your day your energy start to you know that's when you discover who you truly are that's why it's also so hard to get away to get out <laughs> it's the best thing for you let me see here so i have here beating them at their own game hmm beating them at their own game remember they are conducting you they are doing the experiments on you they need you so when you're no longer available then you are going to start to break down the matrix and you're going to start learning a lot more as to what's going on around you why you, that question why me you're going to understand it it's going to become clear to you damn like literally just by me getting upset can start a car like yes yes you ever got angry and put out a light or dim the light i literally experienced this my own self sometimes i'll like scream i'll get upset or something random and like the matter around me will respond like you ever notice that or you ever be sad and it's rainy <laughs> that's how fucking big you are bro and it's like the the more you are just like distracted by the storm around you the harder it is for you to see clear okay that's why they say the only way out of this shit is in all right um keep remember that i'm saying um memory remember that i'm mentioning memory okay 
So beat them at their own game by discovering who you are. Oh, that's funny. So all I got to do is know me. Yeah. Um, it says here, they see exactly what they expect to see. Okay. So by you waking up and logging into your Facebook or logging into your YouTube account, logging into your Instagram, etc., they see exactly what they need to see. The numbers is still there. Okay. So the experiment is experimenting. All right. Remember. So yes. All right. So this is a good point that my guides made for me. And then I'm going to go. Um, let me get some water. All right, so your lower self, so your earthly has been made to clone your higher self. Now, why do I say that? So the Babylon, the baby lawn is in you. All right. So think about in the Bible when they went to mention when they went to mention Jacob's ladder and how it was the stairway to his own pineal. OK, so why is it that like we are born into our lowest nature, you know, our root self? Literally, it's science. When you're born, you're born into your lowest self and you learn to ascend or like they say, develop or mature. Okay, all of these things are symbolic, it's science. Okay, so your lower self has been created to like imitate your highest version. Okay, clone. Um, so <clears throat> basically, what you did, what you did, because you're conducting your own experiment, this is all a test, right? Life is a test. Um, you run the show, so you destroying. You're destroying your own nature to rise again, okay? So I heard this brother, he used to say how the only way to know one's power is to lose memory of it. If you lose your memory of your power, your ability, right? Then re, it's like ascending or stepping back into it proves your greatness. So if I'm Superman and I could fly, but I die and I come back and I don't remember that I'm Superman, but I learn to fly again. That's how I know my root. That's how I know my nature, right? So that's exactly what is happening. We're in this test run experiment. So it's only not only us against us, but it's them against us. So that's why it's so damn hard. Okay. You're so, you're so targeted because you're so great at what you do. Okay. That's why it's so hard for you, black man black woman because you are so great you're genius all right remember this so um i have here wired psychology wired psychology means to repeat so things that you wake up and do every single day you don't even know that you're doing it. you may wake up every single day and say damn that's wired psychology, okay? Neurotransmitters, they communicate with themselves. They communicate and they remember all the way back from the day you were ever even thought of. <laughs> Not your mom, the, the source. We're taking it back to the source. You have that distilled within you. That's why sometimes you hear people say you're Akashic Records, like that's your entire memory bank, okay? I can trace back any transaction you, that's why they say like sewing, once you sew something, you can't undo it. You know what I mean? So it's important to like act strategically and to live like it's with meaning. Okay. Like to be, live for tomorrow. Okay. Cause some things you can't take back basically, you know? So the baby the baby lawn is within you the fight the war is in you so you're only like discovering yourself you know what i mean it's hard to adventure out there right but you learn more when you're when you're when you go find it so you have to like i said it's not going to be handed to you 
I won't remind you that you are a God. You have to know it. You have to step into that position, not the title. You have to be, okay? So that's what it talks a lot about, um, having to, Jacob's ladder, having to walk up that spine, you know, develop um, through trial and error and master, okay? That's the only way to know how good you truly are. 33 energy okay um a lot of people failed you may look around and see a lot of people are dangerous to society okay a lot of people are a danger to society so you notice um let me see i have something here um a menace to society equals a member to society a menace to society equals a member to society let that sink in so anyone who is look around you have people who are content with being hateful you have people who are content with being like abusive or narcissistic manipulative corrupt not only to themselves other people animals like people are okay with being hateful you have people who genuinely want to see love oneness wholeness oneness okay on this world all right so this is where it starts all right this is also where it ends so yeah a lot of people around you are failing at their own game like they don't realize that they're testing themselves you know um by falling victim to this lie by selling themselves short okay you have literally you've been removed okay like tupac said it's not dying that's the loss. It's being alive and still being dead. Okay? Like Drake said, everybody dies, but not everybody lives. Okay? So look around. Okay? Not everyone knows what love is. Unconditional. All right? Not everyone knows what it means to feel safe or to relax. Like you got drug dealers out here who literally lives in their their adrenals <laughs> like if i'm saying that right they literally live in a fearful state fight or flight survival paranoia they can't relax they become hipped to that reality to that matrix okay um let me see i have here hotels things like hotels motels resorts cruise ships these are all like um, testing sites. These are testing sites, okay? Yeah. That's why the beds don't get replaced. The sheets, they don't get replaced. They barely be washed. Like you're being watched. You're being monitored. They're listening to your phone. They're, they're everywhere, but nowhere to be found, nowhere to be seen, okay? That's why you're like, everything is so calculated and so predicted right because you are being tested upon you are the science experiment okay remember that computerized rooms these are computerized rooms all right mm -hmm. someone was like you ever realize that on your tv like there's always a red dot <laughs> or like on your camera there's always some type like it's always watching you Okay, when they make new phones, pay attention, they're adding more and more cameras. Okay, and we think that it's like the new series. <laughs> it's, it's getting newer and more serious. Okay, I tried to say it as best that I could. Yes, it's that serious. Okay, everything is a, a, an experiment here, you guys, on us on us okay um so yeah i'm i'm gonna conclude this message it's four o'clock on the dot um this took years of experimentation this took years of experimentation this is why you guys this took years this is why we are here today this took years of experimentation all right trial and error like i said through evolution okay so you see um and 
it's important. This is the last thing I have. <clears throat> I kept telling you guys to, whew, I kept telling you guys to remind me or to remember the word memory. Okay. Um, it's very important. If you pay attention to Michael Jackson's song, he was very hip to this. Um, he, he made a song called, do you remember the time? Okay. And pay attention to the I guess ideology of it the the movie you know it showed you something you know so it's important to have memory okay this is also why i have to drive my point home this is also why in the foods dementia becomes a it, it's like normal dementia which is an effect on the brain the memory okay your operation your behavior etc um eating sugary foods, artificial foods, anything that is going to break you down internally and affect the brain, it causes dementia, things like that, at least. Heart failure, um, high blood pressure, diabetes, etc., to break you down, right? Only you can kill you, is what they're saying here. But um, it's important to have memory because that is your background, okay? That's why your last name is so important because it's your background okay it's important to know where you come from so you know where you're what yes Ashe. so i'm going to go ahead and get out of here um i'm gonna pull one last card to conclude because i just love to know what the divine has to say Ashe. Ashe. let me see here any final resorts Y'all be careful in those resorts and hotels and motels and Airbnbs. <laughs> oh, look, the temperance card. Hey, wow, what a dream. Life is but a dream. Wow, wow, wow absolutely beautiful way to exit the building okay the temperance card and look how the sun is coming up okay i wouldn't be surprised if the sun start coming up at night okay because the sun never rests truly um yeah just like you you never rest right yeah think about it you guys all right i love y'all angle landed that's funny peace i love you thanks for joining me and watching ashe